Bosch hammer on for a pair. Not good. Looks like a motor may be seized. Yeah, seized. It's not spinning. So oh, that's your fan there. That's not moving whatsoever. Normally, no, nope. uh, worse than that. It's not the motor, it's far, far worse than that. Yeah, far worse indeed. Look, the gears on the camshaft, or the eccentric gear, as it's called. Mm, that's going to be expensive. Very expensive. Could also destroy the teeth on the armature. So even if I were to replace this, it's probably about 150 or 200 euro. It's going to be as noisy as anything. Two unmeshed gears. That's just too badly damaged. That's about another 250 euro for that layer. This is not looking like it's worth it. Okay. Customers come back. It's actually a warranty. So we'll go ahead of this one. New armature. New gear in it. Full service kit. Everything it needs to get it up and running again. Right, I'm going to strip it down and wash it out. That's gone. That's gone. Clean that. Clean that. Yeah, clean that out as well. And the sleeve. Now, on to the hammer section.
on smashed gear. That's gone. That's okay. There's the reason why you have to wash it out, service it. There's the teeth from the gear. But eventually just got onto the clutch gear and destroyed it as well. Always wash them out. Service kit, centric gear, air deflector, and an armature. One new armature. packaging one gear needle bearing fitted service kit we'll get onto that later and an air deflector Six to eight bearing. Set that aside for now. Two holes for your screws. This obviously goes towards the open end. Line your screw holes up. Press it on. Do not want these to back out. That aside.
got your seals changed over. All ready to go. as well. A few last ones then go on later. Damper on first, then you can flip the control ring, then your spring and your support disc. That. Now, the rest of this together, but first get your tool holder ready. You just want to use this for grip.
That's how that goes together. So this is the selector, slides back and forth. Box on here. Muscle together. These two will be held tight together. And it'll only be the selector that moves back and forth. And some of them you may get a shim as well. It fits in between these two. No shim on this one. This is a tricky bit. I'm going to drop this on. And install your piston at the same time. I'm installed and passed them in place. I take the whole tool holder assembly, slide them all on together, press it onto the piston first, line up these gears, slide it on. Just remember at the top, there's two meat pans that have to locate for that seal sleeve. And reinstall your C clip to hold it all together. Seal track is actually on this side. Get everything ready to go. Now, don't be tempted to put the grease in before you marry them because it'll just pour through. The hole for the armature. Only install that after this is on. Right, some more section on. Eighty-five mil of grease. That's what you need there. Remember this isn't bolted on. In your selector. Bolt it all down.
Now it's just the tool holder that's left. One brush hammer, fully serviced, new eccentric gear, new armature, brushes, everything. Nice one. That's it. Running perfect. Hammering like it should. One Bosch GBH 8 stroke 45D. Up and running again. New motor service repaired under warranty. Thanks for watching, lads. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and a follow if you just started watching. And a big shout out as well to all my patron supporters and subscribers for supporting the channel. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, lads.